Diane, how can someone contact their spirit guide if they've never done it before? We seem to have help with this in one form or another um, from young children. And, um, and I, this was proved for me, particularly around the age of 13, when I was late coming from school and I stood at the bus stop to catch the bus going home. And a car started to pull up towards the bus stop and I backed back away from the bus stop. Somehow an inner knowing or being told, you know, I just had to back back and I backed well back from the bus stop. And a gentleman stood out of the car and he said, come on, I'll give you a lift home. And I was dumbfounded. I just stood there and he the gentleman went to pick up my bag, my school bag, because I'd just left it there as I'd bagged. And he picked up that school bag and he said, come on, I'll get you a lift home. And a little voice said to me, don't move. Now, I was really lucky that I didn't move and I took notice of that voice. And, you know, it's like we all have that guidance. If only we open our ears and listen for it might be just inside our head or just inside our ears but that voice is there and that guidance is there for us and quite often we might not meet our guides for for a long time to come but those guides are there and you know I help my students to feel their presence because we do exercises within our class in our group class to be able to feel their presence and become sensitive to and aware of the presence of those guides, presence of spirit, if you like, as well. And I think, you know, that as they develop this sensitivity of clairsentience, they do become aware that they have had somebody there all along. What do you mean by clairsentience there, Diane? Okay, clairsentience is really clear sense, clear sensing, where they actually can feel or sense that there is somebody there with them. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are the three major clairs, that's the clairvoyance, the clairaudience and the clairsentience. And my strongest is the clairvoyance because I have seen spirits since I was very little. But clairsentience comes, it can be developed and can strengthen. Um, and some people have that clear sentience as their, as their strongest gift. But all of these are gifts of our own spirit. And we all uh, we are all born with it. This is very natural. And, you know, it's like we close it off at some time through our life, um, through fear or whatever else, but we close this down. And it's really a very natural part of us. But people who come to me... You know, that they feel it's time to reawaken these senses, these heightened senses, which we are all born with. And it's beautiful to see people reawakening or reattuning themselves with these senses. And everybody can. 